crucial incident in Gladiator Arena. England, Finland, United States, Japan, and the Bahamas. Five countries have sent their very best to see just who in the world is strong enough to survive in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the American Gladiators. Let's go! International Challenge of Champions! Begin! Lisa Molaski and a very special treat for those of us here at Gladiator Arena, our International Challenge of Champions 2. Eight contenders from five different countries all vying to give the American Gladiators their best shot. Well, the Finns and the Brits each have their own show and they have sent their champions. Now, those people will, of course, have to be the favorites, but don't rule out the good old U.S. of A. And I talked to the Gladiators in their locker room. They're aiming to give our foreign contenders certainly a memorable experience. <laughs> Here's how the competition will work after two events. The male and female with the lowest scores will be eliminated. After four events, two more will fall by the wayside. The remaining two will compete in Hang Tough and the Eliminator for the championship. And our male contenders are up first. There they are, Michael Sidney, Jumpai Tomonanga, Philip Norman, and Magnus Lillestrong. There's Magnus, 29 years old, 5'7", 158, owns a sporting goods store in Finland. And Michael Sidney, 27 years old, 6'1", 175, a psychiatric technician in L.A. Doing the banging for the Glads, Tower and Rebel. Slightly different setup for this international special. Scoring breakdown is the same, but it's two on two as opposed to three on two. Magnus and Michael Sidney set to go here. Michael Sidney made a nice move. This Magnus kid, Lisa, has some great quickness. He is great. And I don't think they play organized football in Finland. Cross-country skiing and soccer. He does list American football as one of his professional sports, three Finnish championships. That, there he got a taste of tower. Michael gets waylaid by Rebel. Gladiators and our contenders doing a whale of a job. Magnus, a veritable flying fin. No joke. No joke. Well, Michael, you have that right. It is no joke when 280 pounds of Rebel falls right on top of you and rolls you over. And they may have underestimated Magnus. Surprising quicks here as he gets by Tower. Michael, nice job. These guys are pretty rough, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's no easier by having just two gladiators. Doesn't make it easier at all. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I think it's just as hard, if not harder. Quite a battle. Yeah. Yes, Michael. Magnus, you listed American football as one of your professional sports. How does that compare to Powerball? Uh, I like this. I have to say that. They was great, really great. <laughs> they have speed. <laughs> and so they, they hit pretty hard. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> great job. <laughs> Let's see how they play this game over there. And our next two contenders are ready to go. There's Phil Norman, 25 years old, a martial arts instructor from Great Britain. And Joe Pai Tomonanga, 26 years old, 5'8", 170 pounds, from Japan. For real, this ain't no joke, baby. This is it. And this time around, Rebel will be joined by Turbo. Two foreigners set for Powerball. Nice move by Phil. Karate instructor and bouncer yes. in the UK, and he's got some wow. super quicks. Again, much tougher on the Gladiators having to go Two on two, as opposed to the customary three on two. Well, it's really apparent why this long string green of a contender, Philip Norman, 
was Great Britain's champion. Say hello to Turbo. Jumpai's having a much tougher time. Five seconds to go, and one more by Phil. Jumpai gets hammered. He gets up, though. These kids are tough. They are very, very tough. Well, I guess we can see why you were the champion in Britain. Nice job. Yeah, I, I enjoy this game. This is one of my best games. Why do you enjoy it? Uh, I like the physical contact. Just, uh, just get in there and have a bash. It's good fun. And you don't mind getting hit? Uh, I'm always getting hit by my girlfriend, so I kind of get used to it, you know? <laughs> Great job. Jumpai thought he'd have a little fun here at Gladiator Arena, but boy, was he mistaken. Watch Turbo plant him on the ground. Out! Tries to score here, and Rebel does the honors this time. And after one event, the UK is Phil Norman with the lead. Women are up next. We've got someone from the US, from the Bahamas, Great Britain, and Finland. I don't care where they're from, we're going down. <laughs> Dallas. Getting ready to go, and there's Gene Clank, 36 years old, a truck driver from Great Britain. And Jackie Edwards, 22 years old, 5'8", 138 pounds, a student in the Bahamas. Joining Dallas on the Powerball floor, Siren. 45 seconds to time limit. Dallas has got her game face on. We're underway. Can't get by Siren. Gene made a nice move on Dallas. There she There's goes. a sweet one by Jackie. Past Siren. 30 seconds ago. Jackie's starting to turn it on. Nice move by Gene. Stuck in their own end. Siren riding Jackie hard. 10 seconds ago, Gene with a nice move. All four women running out of steam. Certainly are two contenders, and that is it. Siren and Dallas do their thing. And Gene, Clank, and Jackie Edwards get their first taste of the American Gladiators. I'm done with that one. Well, Gene, you outscored her by one point. They do play this in Britain. How does it compare? It's very similar, but I do enjoy this game. Why? Because I'm small, I'm pretty fast, like, you know. You don't mind getting hit? No, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, well, great job. Suomi, Finland. Mina Karu has got all of her fans revved up here at Gladiator Arena. There's Sue Gerard from the USA, 25 years old, a student activities counselor. Mina hails from Helsinki where she's a student, 22 years old. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. International and not, they're going down. Stay. Here we go again. Dallas drawing double duty in Powerball. She'll be joined by Ice this time around. Nice shush past Dallas there to score. Sue has one roll off the Rim of the cylinder, past ice. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> ice powered her out there. Ooh. Let go. Out, out, let go. Up go. Time winding down, and the same can be said for the conditioning of our two female contenders here. Up. They're running out of gas. Sue gets banked pretty hard by ice. But she's up, and Adam Mina goes down, and that is it. That's score. That's score. Actually, Mina and Sue Gerard each scored one goal. Sue holding her nose, and here is why. Watch ice. Boom. Down Sue goes. A lot more to come. Skytrack is next. Challenge of Champions 2 continues here at Gladiator Arena. Event number two is Skytrack. After this event, two contenders will be eliminated, one male and one female. Gene Plank from the United Kingdom has the lead right now. In lane one will be Jackie Edwards from the Bahamas. Lane two, our Gladiator Zap. In lane three, Mina Karu from Finland. And keep an eye on Edwards. She says, Lisa, she hates this event because 
she is absolutely petrified, petrified of heights. Win the race, it's worth 10 points. And they're off. Well, she doesn't look intimidated, that's for sure. Zap leading the way, heading for the turnaround point. Jackie Edwards struggling to use her feet, pulling with just her hands. Mina touches the turnaround point. Now she has to play catch up. Again, if the contenders don't beat the Gladiators across the finish line, the first contender across will get five points. And that's what Mina will probably settle for as Zap touches first, crosses the finish line. And Mina better hustle. She, <laughs> she is struggling. People don't realize what a test of stamina this is. It's all over, Mina. You can come down. She picks up five points. Jackie Edwards failed to score, but for her, Skytrack a moral victory. She made it after all. And actually, her technique, not too bad. We move now to heat number two. Sue Gerard from the USA getting acclimated. In lane one will be Gene Clank from Great Britain. Lane two, our gladiator jazz. Sue will be positioned in lane number three. The Skytrack race is underway, and Sue Gerard really coming out fast out of the blocks. This should be a great race. Jazz, however, powering her way to the early lead. And it's very close between Jean and Sue Gerard. Jazz the first to reach the turnaround point. Here comes Sue. And Sue is now taking over second place. She quit using her feet. <laughs> Maybe she's getting a little tired. It's kind of tough to get them back up there, too. Right. Abdominal muscles. Gets a couple of pushes with those legs, but Jazz wins the race, and Sue finishes second to pick up five points. Those five points put Sue Gerard in a tie for first place with Mina Carew of Finland after two events. Gene Plank from the UK is in third. Jackie Edwards from the Bahamas falls by the wayside. On to the men we go, where Great Britain's Philip Norman has the lead. In this heat, however, it'll be Japan's Jumpai Tomonaga in lane one, a Hawk in lane two, and Magnus Lillestrand of Finland in lane three. Let's see who responds to Larry Thompson's whistle first. It looked like Magnus. Around that first turn, heading for that turnaround point. Magnus Lillestrand in lane three. Magnus has taken well to this. He's the first to reach the turnaround point. Now Jumpai is having a little bit of trouble. Jumpai needs to use his feet more. Magnus, if he can hang on here, and it looks like he will, will pick up 10 points. Running out of gas at the end, but he crosses the finish line first. Great job. Hawk second, and where is Jumpai? There he is. But he's finishing, Mike. You've got to give him credit. Way to go. He's still probably trying to <laughs> regain his senses after Powerball. <laughs> A little more than he expected, I think. Again, the winning form of Magnus Lillestrand from Finland. He clearly looks like he has been doing this all of his life. He has surprised everyone, I think. Our second men's heat in lane one, it'll be Philip Norman from Great Britain. Lane two, our Gladiator Hawk, and in lane three, from the USA, Michael Sidney. Just flying. And Hawk not getting much rest, perhaps feeling the effects of that previous race. Right now it's Michael Sidney from the USA. Hands and feet in constant contact with the Velcro surface. 
touching the turnaround point first. Philip Norman from Great Britain may make it close, however. Michael pumping, 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 looking great. Looking super. He's pulled away from Norman, and he will win it going away to pick up 10 points. Michael Sidney from the USA. His time, exemplary, 34 seconds. That's cooking. So after two events, Magnus Lillestrand of Finland with the lead. Michael Sidney of the USA right behind with 14 points. Phil Norman with 13. Japan's Jokai Tomonaga has to take a bow. First of all, thank you both for appearing on American Gladiators today. Jokai, I want to know if you had a good time. Yeah, thank you very much, too. I had a real good time. I wish I could stay a little bit longer, but... Uh, you I told me you were happy to be alive. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Horrible is pretty tough. Yes. Jackie, did you have a good time? Yes, I did. I'm glad to be healthy and able to go on tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Thank you both for coming. Thank you. Two gone, but six remain. They'll fight it out in assault next. The American Gladiators International Challenge of Champions 2 continues with event number three, Assault, our game of hit or be hit. The men's competition extremely close with Magnus Lillestrand leading the way. You know, the Finns have a version of American Gladiators in their country. He was the grand champion. Let's see how he does against Tower. Magnus Lillestrand. The one thing he surprised me with is his speed, his quickness. Parted Tower's legs there. Magnus setting himself, oh. letting it fly. 30 seconds to go. Did you see him take away that right leg? He is very quick. He said he played American football. Three Finnish championships. Here he is at station number four. 15 seconds to go. Oh, nice Yeah, job. perfect. Tower goes up in CO2, and Magnus picks up 10 more points. Oh, well, he got lucky. I want to know where you learned to shoot like that. I think that it's have to be in the Army. <laughs> you were in the Army for a while? Yeah. So. I guess they taught you well. Yeah, you see that. <laughs> Good job. Michael Sidney from the USA next up. He'll need 10 to keep pace with the flying fin. Where's this guy from? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Contender ready! Oh, dropped him like a bad habit. Razor undoubtedly will have something to say about Michael's run here. He's at station number two, and that one way oh, up no. in the rafters. Where's he going with that ball? 40 seconds to go. Oh. Bring it down, Mike. That one will bring rain. 30 seconds. Oh. I think he got nailed. Bef yeah, he did, Lisa, before he yeah. even had a chance to make it to station number four. Laser picks him off. He does get three points for firing three weapons and has a total of 17 after three events. Our British champion, Philip Norman, up next. He's got 13 points after two, and he has been very surprising in terms of quickness. He's been great. He's a martial arts instructor. Very nimble. The Sabre's ready to go, I think. <laughs> Sabre's always ready, Mike. Letting it fly at station number one. Went off the base of Sabre's platform. Ooh. Wide left and a little high. Oh, oh man. Wow, what a shot. In mid-stride, Sabre, no problem. 
And Philip Norman bites the dust. Good job, man. So after three events, the Flying Finn continues to lead the way with 26 points. We'll be back. We are ready to take aim once again as our international challenge of champions continue with the women's assault, and here's how the women stand. Sky always sets her sights high. And right now, she's gonna take a beat on Sue Girard from the USA, who has seven points. Tied for the lead with Mina Karu of Finland after two events. Ready, ready. This is the event Sky loves the most. Sue, station number two. Letting it go. He brings it down, she's got a chance. Now it's station number three. That came right through. Right, again, through that wow. aperture, our game judge, Bob Wusetich, on top of it. She was hit before she fired the shot, so Sue can only pick up two points here in Assault. Sky is absolutely deadly in this event. Watch the ball come right next to the gun and hit Sue in the shoulder. Great shot. Ready to go, and so is our contender, Mina Karu of Finland. Mina, the Finnish champion in mogul skiing four years. Not a bad shot either. Here she is, station number two. Oh, into the Raptors. Mina. Oh. Better hurry. I Just as I said that, she gets it in the right arm. Some nifty shooting by Jazz up there. Mina does pick up two points. She's got nine after three events. The Gladiators having great success in this event. Mina gets hit right in the shoulder by Jazz. Well, our Gladiators laying down a little international law here in Assault. Sky successful, Jazz successful. Zap will try to do the same, this time against British champion Jean Clack. A rowdy salt she is. Yes. <laughs> She drives a semi-trailer truck in England. Loads and unloads groceries. Now she'd like to unload on Zap. Whoa. Ooh, mighty close. Here she is at station two. Pretty fearless. Whoa. I've got her. You know, there's an aperture of only about four inches right. down there at station number two, and that's how deadly Zap was. She found the opening, hits Jean. Jean only able to come away with one point. Bump on the head. And she is now in third place after three events behind Sue Gerard and Mina Kiru of Finland. The trio of ready, aim, fire. Three for three, and Three international contenders, or I should say two international contenders, bite the dust sap. We had to show Great Britain, we had to show Finland how the girls in the USA do it. And we got them. And you do it pretty well, don't you, Scott? Of course, this is, this is our arena. It doesn't matter what country you're from, this is our arena. And year. nobody has more fun than you do, Jazz. I love it. I listen to all these guys, see them running back and forth, so we can get them. Love we it. got them. Outstanding. Cool off now. competition continues and now our athletes are ready for the challenge of the pyramid. Sue Gerard and Mina Karu tied for the lead as the women start things off. They look like Greek goddesses but they are not stone statues. They are Sky, Ice and Dallas sitting atop our pyramid. We're gonna run them three at a time. 
Gene Clank from Great Britain, the British champion, Mina Karhu from Finland, the Finnish champ, and USA's Sue Gerard set to go. After this event, one of these three women will be eliminated. This ought to be wild. Huh. A lot of opportunity for some screens. And traffic jams. Sky is chasing Gene there Clank down. Mina. There's Mina. She took advantage of Dallas. Come down, Dallas. Come down. Dallas. She's assured herself of a spot in the next two Don't events. And she gets 10 now. points. Sue having a tough time getting by ice. Dallas is not allowed to help out now. She's effectively out of this game. 10 seconds to go. And it doesn't look like Jean or Sue is going to make it. Let's go! <laughs> well, ice playing a little bit with Sue, I think. So Finland's Mina Karu has made it to the top in an event she's never even seen before. Jean Clank falls by the wayside, so it's Sue and Mina for the international championship. So Mina, you are very happy and you should be. Was this a lot of fun? It was very nice and kind of easy. It was easy. Well, she'd be pretty tough. I guess you made it easy. You just ran right to the top. Yeah, I think I had a little bit luck, but I'm so happy. <laughs> she should be happy, but Sue Girard isn't happy at all. Ice wrapped her up and took her down. These guys look like three bears hungry for <laughs> trouble. Laser oh, looking boy. rebel and saber. They're atop our pyramid. Michael Sidney from the USA, Magnus Lidestrand from Finland, and Philip Norman from Great Britain. Again, one of these men will be eliminated after this event. First man to make it to the top, if there is a first man, will get 10 points. Here comes Mike Sidney, he's got a breakaway, but Laser catches up. There goes Magnus, he's Look so at Magnus, quick. Magnus, but Ooh, Rebel right there to pick him off. Saber's got a hold of Philip Norman. Oh boy. He's oh, mighty close, he's going all the way back down. Wow. He's okay, though. Laser and Michael Sidney. Look out, guys. They're going back down. Laser, oh, Laser Sydney. lost him. Michael is trapped oh. underneath Philip Norman from the UK. He's going to make it to the top. He gets five points. I didn't see Magnus make it. How did he get up there? <laughs> he slipped by us. This is unreal. Man, oh, man. So Michael Sidney gets five points. Magnus Lillestrøm from Finland gets 10. They are in. And Philip Norman from the UK, from Great Britain, will go to the sidelines. And he'll remember this event, I'm sure, for the rest of his life. Lisa's at the top of the pyramid with Michael and Magnus. Well, Magnus, you must have been moving so fast. We didn't even see you get to the top. How'd you do it? I heard that you are waiting for me here. <laughs> But you, it wasn't. You heard I was waiting for you? Yeah. Oh. They told me that you are here. Give me a kiss. Oh. Oh. Well, I might have to pass on the kiss, but congratulations. <laughs> Michael, then you snuck up afterwards. Nice move. Thank you. I didn't even know he was up here. I thought it was going to be you paying up here. <laughs> I got up here and Mac News is up here waiting for me. He said, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, five points is better than none. Definitely, definitely. Great job, guys. Come on, Lisa. Give him a peck on oh, the cheek. Come on. <laughs> oh, that Magnus, he's one wild and crazy guy. He has the lead after four events, and we eliminate two contenders, Gene Plank from the United Kingdom and also her teammate, Phil Norman. They both have to leave, and they're with Lisa in the locker room. Well, first of all, thanks so much for coming. It was great to have you here. I'm wondering if this is more difficult than the British Gladiators. I did. I loved that game we just played Pyramid. That was an awesome <laughs> game. I wish we had that back home. That was a brilliant game. Uh, that was like Maybe next brilliant. season. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I hope so. I'm going to ask him about it anyway. <laughs> did you have a good time? Yeah, I enjoyed that game very much. I liked the Powerball. I liked the Sky Track. So I played quite a few of my favourite games today. Did you have a good time? Yeah, very good. Brilliant. No Excellent. doubt about it. That was, that was a brilliant. That was really good Great. fun. Well, um, thanks for bringing us over. Telly Ho, Hang Tough's next. Our international beat continues here at Gladiator Arena with Hang Tough. Event number five leading the way for the men is Magnus Lillestrand of Finland. He has been super. I wouldn't want to be him.
Magnus will have his hands full. Turbo providing the opposition. If Magnus makes it across this grid of 55 rings to where Turbo is standing, it is worth 10 points. If he goes the distance, he'll get the draw. Magnus has been a scoring machine. Six in Powerball, 10 in Skytrack, 10 in Assault, 10 on the Pyramid. Looking to get 10 here in Hang Tough, but trust me, Magnus, it will not be easy against this man. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh, baby. He crosses over so easily, does Turbo. But when it was unable to pull him down. Magnus had to back off from his original strategy. You can tell the way he's working the rings that he's a fine athlete. He is. Turbo is so strong and so commanding. He's stalking him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, he's gonna get five points for a draw. And that is actually a breakthrough for contenders because that's the first time anybody's been able to draw against Turbo. Michael Sidney now figures to be the object of Turbo's revenge here. This is not gonna be a very pretty set. Ready! Michael's a great athlete, and he looks very smooth on the rings. Mike trying to cross over to get away from Turbo. 40 seconds remain. This oh is a 60-second game. Turbo and <laughs> Turbo knows it now. Their rings are tangled together. Michael in huge trouble. Oh. And that is all she wrote. So Magnus will maintain that 19-point lead and take a nine-and-a-half-second head start with him into the eliminator. Just that simple. That will decide our international champion. Long odds indeed. And Sue Gerard has her work cut out for her. She's going to better her position going into the eliminator. Right now, she trails Mina Karu from Finland, 24 to 9. Siren stalking. Sue waiting to make her move. Better make it in a hurry, because Siren's zooming in. She decides to back off. Gonna try to slip by her, but that'll be tough. Sue on the verge of losing all momentum. Now she's swinging around in circles. <laughs> She's got another ring, and there's Siren's legs again. Now oh! Siren's got her down go Sue. Siren always so tough in this event. Whoa, she comes at Sue, gives her a good kick, then wraps her up and takes her down. Nice job. In the women's competition, Mina Karu, like her Finnish teammate, Magnus has been super here. She'll need to be super against Siren. Siren has to get her cue from our referee, Larry Thompson. Look at me! Look at me! Mina is ready. She said her favorite movie is Cliffhanger. Well, she won't be hanging from a mountain, but she will be hanging from the rings. Mina has shown us a lot of athleticism so far in this international challenge. Siren undefeated in this event, 3-0 and one draw. She better watch out though, because Mina is Ooh. 
Closing in on the Gladiator platform. Siren now crossing over. Mina's got it. Siren can't see her if she can't grab that oh. ring. Mina's on. Oh, Mina hanging on by one hand. 15 seconds to go. She is so close. Trying to change her momentum desperately. They're going to cross over, and that's not a good idea because she's going to run out of time here. Five seconds, Siren's got her. Can Mina hang on for the five? She does. Get away from me, Siren. Get away from me. Mina Carew continues to excel with finish flags flying. And the only thing that stands in her way of an international championship is our final event, the Eliminator. That's next. Last book I read was Options Markets by Cox and Rubenstein. Pi equals. Eight pieces if you're getting a pizza. And my linguine I like. Alfredo sauce. Hawks prey on. Contenders. I am vain because. I can be. Why don't people just. Play by the rules. I just want to scream when. Somebody punches me in the mouth. Our international challenge of champions is winding down. All that is left is the eliminator. Our women will get things started. Finland's Mina Karu has shown why she's her country's champion. She has a seven and a half second head start on the USA, Sue Gerard. Sue knows this is her last chance and she's ready to go. She's with Lisa at the start line. Okay, Sue, you're the underdog this time. Are you ready to pull out a gold medal performance for the good old US of A? You know what, seven and a half sounds like a lot of time, but anything can happen on the Eliminator, and um, I'm ready for it. Good luck. Sue Gerard, a great track and field athlete at Cal Poly Pomona. But Mina Karu, you can see that Suomi Finland flag on her right cheek has been exceptional today. On course for the Gladiators, there's a look at Jazz and Dallas. Mina with one thought to bring a championship Are back to Scandinavia. Our two right, women set to fly. Mina Karu, 22 years old from Helsinki, Finland. An outstanding mogul skier in her homeland. And here comes Sue Gerard trying to make up 7.5 seconds. The first test, the Versa Climber, and it is rough. Well, Mina has seemed to think everything here has been pretty easy. We'll see how she feels after the Eliminator. She scored in every event, including five in Sky Track and 10 in the Pyramid. Oh, but boy. down she goes off that hand bike. She'll have That's to wait for 10 right. seconds. If Sue Gerard can pump her way across, she will take the lead. Mina has done her time in the penalty pit. This could be close. Sue hangs on. Nearly fell off the cylinder. We've got a race now, Mike. Side by side they go, up the cargo net. Mina, the first to reach the zip line. And down she comes. Mina hits the wall. Here comes Sue. The treadmill will tell the tale. Contenders given two bona fide attempts. Mina pushing hard. Oh, nice She effort. has made it. Here comes Sue. It could be close. If she grabs it, goes reverse. Oh! <laughs> Mina Carew, but just barely. Her time, one minute and 37 seconds. Sue almost made up that 7.5 second deficit. Her come from behind effort falls short right at the finish line. Mina, you have said it a couple of times today that you have thought things were easy. I think you must have changed your mind. This isn't very easy. No, this was hardest work I have ever done. <laughs> you're tired, but you're happy. Yes, I can't be happy, I'm so tired. <laughs> Great job. Sue, what an effort. You nearly caught her at the finish. I heard us break the paper very close together. You've got to be proud. Great effort. Thank you very much. Great job, both of you. 
So Mina Karu from Finland not only wins her country's gladiator championship, she wins here across the pond in the United States. In the men's race, Finland also has the upper hand. Magnus Lillestrand has been dynamite. And Michael Sidney of Anaheim, California will have to pull out all the stops if he is to make up a nine and a half second head start deficit and win it for the USA. He's with Lisa at the start of our Versa Climber. Okay, Michael, this is your chance to do it for the red, white, and blue. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'm ever gonna be, yes. Good luck. Mighty big deficit for Michael Sidney to make up. There's Rebel and Tower underneath the hand bike. We have heard reports that Magnus is superb in the Illuminator. Very quick. He certainly looks good on the Versa climber, Lisa. Boy, non-stop. Great Here comes form. Michael Sidney. Magnus whipping across on that hand bike. The cylinder, he hangs on there. Great demonstration of balance. Mikey can fly in the cylinder. If he gets across, he's got a chance in the cargo net. Oh, it could be close. It could be close. Mike Sidney has really cut into that lead. Magnus up and over the wall. Here comes Michael Sidney. Michael Sidney gets there first. Michael Sidney comes from behind to win it for the USA in a dramatic, dramatic finish. His time, outstanding, Lisa, 53 seconds. Oh, my gosh. What an effort. What an effort. And once again, Lisa, it was the dreaded treadmill that spelled the difference between victory and defeat. Watch the look on Magnus's face as he sees Michael Sidney go by him and make it up. I'm sure he envisioned other things happening. Meanwhile, Michael Sidney swings home to the chant of USA, USA. Quite a come from behind victory. Okay, Michael, I want to know if you really thought you had a chance to win that thing. I never gave up hope. Lisa, I never gave up hope. I just pushed it everything I had, everything. And I never stopped, no matter what. I saw him way ahead of me. I said, no way. I just pushed it, Lisa. And you did it. Thank you very much. Congratulations. So it was beautiful. Magnus, very close. Michael got you at that treadmill. That was pretty tough, wasn't it? Yeah, but he's great, and I'm an asshole. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Congratulations and thanks for coming to the United States. You are a great competitor. Thank you. And we issue an invitation for Magnus to come back anytime he wants to. He was that good. He gets hugs from Rebel and Tower. They certainly appreciated both our contenders' efforts. Hope you enjoyed our international special. We'll see you later.